Samsara, the root meaning is just to wander, to wander in life. And the way the word is originally used in Indian teachings, both Indian te Eastern Hindu teachings and Buddhist teachings, was we are just wandering from one material or experiential satisfaction to another, chasing this endless thing which never happened. The goal of what we're all looking for is um, what do you want to call it? Freedom, inner peace, satisfaction. Nirvana, I mean the opposite to samsara is nirvana. But people think of nirvana as always oh, this incredible blissful state. Nirvana, the root meaning is just to blow out. And the root meaning of nirvana was to blow out the flame of desire in ourselves. Once the flame of desire is blown out so we are not wanting things, then we can step back and be at peace. And so much of our wanting is just created by media, advertising each other. We're, we're, we're made to want, want, want. And that wanting thing keeps us chasing things in samsara. If I just had that, I'd feel better. Oh, if I, you know, now she's real cute. Whatever it is, we're just always wanting something else. I could get a loan. I could buy all that right now. Yep. <laughs> And what that does is that screws up our consciousness because I think the natural state of mind when everything's fine, when you know, we're healthy, is one of being at ease. And I think that's where most creatures are. They're just, that's the natural state to be at ease. But we clever human beings screw that up because we start seeing many things that are missing. We, we create, we literally create dis-ease in ourselves. Disease, disease, discomfort, discontent. I can't be happy because I haven't got this or that. So we create the discontent and then we think the way to get rid of the discontent is to go and get the thing we've told we're, we're lacking. And it works. You know, I'm, I'm missing this new piece of music. We go and, I go and buy the CD, I feel happy now because I've dealt with that discontent. But I'm going to create another discontent five minutes later. That's samsara, that endless chasing on, chasing on, chasing on. And nirvana is living in exactly the same world, but without that background chatter belief system that if I only had this, I'll be happy. It doesn't mean you stop feeding yourself or living or what they say is then you're free to care for other people because you're not a lot of that self-serving musket this musket that has gone so you live in the same world but in a much freer way